In this video today, I'm going to show you how to update your Cyanogen mod if you're already on Cyanogen mod 10.1. So let's get to rolling. Okay, so it's what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to update your Cyanogen mod if you are already on Cyanogen, uh, Cyanogen mod. Um, Cyanogen mod is constantly improving. They're constantly tweaking uh, their ROMs, and every night they come out with a nightly ROM. And this is going to be for our Captivate today. And I want to just show you here uh, what version of Cyanogen mod I'm on. So if I go to About Phone, drop down here, it shows you Cyanogen mod version. And I'm, on, I'm still on an old version here. I'm on uh, December 14th of 2012. Today's April 1st, 2013. So I want to update uh, to the newest one, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so uh, here's Cyanogen Mod site, and you can see uh, for the Captivate MTD, you can see here how they have what they call their nightly ROMs. And you can see how there's a new one every day here, the 6th, the 7th, the 8th, the 9th, and here we are to the 10th. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this newest one. Today is the 10th, so I'm going to download this one, and I'm going to flash it over my old Cyanogen mod version. Now, there's several ways to get this on your phone. Um, you could just download it from this site onto your computer and then transfer that over to your phone uh, through, you know, through plugging in the, the USB cable and doing it that way. To me, I've gotten to the point now where I think it's easier just to flash it over or just to download it directly onto my phone and it saves any kind of hassle of having to transfer that file over. So I've already got this file on here and I'm just going to make sure that I did that. I'm going to go to my file manager and I'm going to go to download here. Uh, I downloaded it directly to my phone so it's here and you can see it's a CM 10.1 uh, 410 of 2013. So I've already got that on my phone. So, so what I'm going to do now is if you push and hold the power button, it brings up this menu. And if you go to reboot, uh, normally if you go to reboot, it just gives you the option to just say you're going you're to reboot your phone. But you can see here, since we fly Cyanogen, it gives me another option where I can reboot into my recovery. This is going to reboot me back into Clockwork Mod. That's what I want. So hold the power button, wait till that menu comes up, push reboot. I'm going to go into recovery, push OK. And whenever, I, whenever it boots back up for me, it's going to boot back into clockwork. So here you go. It's booted back into uh, clockwork for me. And it's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to install zip from SD card. Choose it from SD, and I gotta scroll all the way down here to where my download folder is at. Okay, so in my download folder, and I'm gonna scroll down here to this CM 10.1, April 10th, 2013. So that's the one I'm gonna select. Of course, if you're watching this tomorrow on the 11th, Later in the day, you will download, you'll have a, a 04 2013 just depending on what day you download this. As long as it's CM 10.1, it should flash OK over any other CM 10.1. Now notice here I didn't do any kind of, I didn't wipe uh, the, the data, I didn't do a wipe cache or anything. I'm going to flash it directly over it and we shouldn't have any problems. Now before I do this, I should say this, you're probably better off if before you get into this, I'm sorry I didn't say this before, if you'll go back, before you flash that, your best bet is to go to backup and restore and to just do a backup. And that way if you do run into problems, you can just restore this backup and it'll, it'll get you past any problems. So I'd go over here and do a backup if I were you and that's going to take, I don't know, it's going to take several minutes. It takes, I don't know, seven, eight, nine minutes, something like that. So go ahead and do a backup. All right, so I'm going to go back, install zip from SD, choose it from SD. Okay. So I'm going to go choose this zip from SD. All 
Go to my 04-10-2013, install it, yes. And I'm going to let that flash and install that update. And it'll, it'll put any new tweaks, any new things uh, that Cyanogen Mods included, any new things that Google has included. Uh, all that will be new as I flash to this, to this brand new Cyanogen Mod nightly. So this will take a few minutes here. I'll pick back up in just a second. Okay, so it just finished up there. Install from SD complete. And so I'm just going to go back to reboot system now. Okay, so it goes through that upgrading all your apps. And so now I've got the newer version here of, of uh, Cyanogen Mod. Let me show you that real quick. Let me just go over here to About Phone, just show you that I'm now on right there. You can see the newer version of it. April 10th, 2013. And so any, anything new that Cyanogen Mod has included, I've got that now on my phone. I don't have to wipe anything, and I'm good to go. I'm updated to the very, very latest, to the very newest. Uh, you could Google Cyanogen Mod change log and find kind of what's changed through each of the nightlies and find some of the stuff. Some stuff is some pretty good changes. Some stuff's just kind of incremental stuff. But anyways, if you uh, get the bug for wanting to flash and to upgrade, this is uh this is the way that you can do it if you're on Cyanogen Mod. Thanks for watching.